Hi again. Sound pool loops come with Magic's Music Maker, and you can buy them separately from the Magic Store and from Katu.com, which is also Magic's. We're going to look at what sound pool loops are, where they go on your computer, where to put new ones, and some licensing issues. If you're familiar with older versions of Music Maker, then you know that you had to go to Help, Update Program Upgrade Functions, Download Free Synthesizer and Sound Packages. Magix has changed all of this in the latest versions. If you purchase the Plus or Premium Package, you first install the main engine, which is free, then you activate the program and any previous programs. Then you have to go and get all of the sound pools, instruments, presets, features, and additions under the Store tab. Most of these have to be downloaded and installed when you click on them. Here you can see the entire downloader. Under Help, make sure that you select Update Program Online to get the latest patch. To see which version you have, still under Help, select About Magic's Music Maker. The version number is there. Your email address is indicated where the activation code used to be. And note the license terms and conditions. We'll come back to this later. On the Music Maker default screen, we have the Arranger area. To the right, we see the store by default. And at the bottom is another window, and I have the keyboard open. At the top right, there are buttons to turn the right window and the bottom window off and on. At the top of the right window, there are tabs for the sound pool loops, then instruments, then file manager. Back to the loops. Now, if you don't have any loops, then you either did not download anything, or Music Maker can't find them. By default, when you download and install everything, the sound pools should show up under take a look at this path, it ends up with Magic's Common Sound Pools, and this is under Public Documents. Look what I have here. They're installed under folders that sometimes have the package names, and there are subfolders with the sound pool names, or the styles. Look at the third one, Plus 1000 Sounds 2015. There are three sound pool styles, 60 Soul, House, and Metal. So a sound pool is a collection of one or more styles, like these three. I'll open the first one, and we see subfolders with the instrument names. And there's a single file called bpm.inf. I can open this file with a text editor. Here we see some pertinent information. We see the tempo, 120 beats per minute. And under harmony table, we see that the scale is C. And we see that sample 1 is C. That's C major. Sample 2 is D, 3 is E, 4 is F, G, A, and B. These numbers are related to the key of the loop. Capitalized letters means major, uncapitalized means minor. So we have D minor, E minor, and A minor. I'll open up the bass subfolder and we see the loops. The first one is 60s bass 1 dot OGG, then 60s bass 2 OGG, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. These correspond to the pitches that we saw in the BPM file, where 1 is C, 2 is D minor, etc. Back into Music Maker, I'll find 60 Sol. Look at the instruments. I'll select the bass. Down below we see the loops. 60's bass is right there, but the number's not there. Let's get some more information on the bottom part of the screen. Click on the gear at the top. Here we see a menu with Add New Sound Pools at the top and optional rows at the bottom. Then on the flyout we see some choices. I'll select BPM and a BPM column shows up at the bottom. Then I'll add in length and we see the number of bars. Now I'll get harmony and we see the pitch. Note the numbers on the pitch line from 1 to 7. You select the pitch by clicking on one of the numbers. We're on 1 and we see that it's C major. If I click on the bass it'll play a preview. To get it onto the arranger, I can double click on it and drag it to where I want. I double clicked on it, and then the next one, and they show up on track one, one after the other, with an indication of the instrument in the track name. And at the top, we see the pitch. I'll click on the number two, which gives D minor, and I'll drag the next one onto track one. We see in the tab at the top that the pitch code is now D, meaning D minor. So what is a loop? Well, it's simply a short piece of music, in this case from 1 to 8 bars, created in one pitch, 
that's made in such a way that it can be repeated sequentially and sound good. And that's all I'm going to say about loops. That's for another tutorial. We're here to see where to get them and where they go. So I'll delete those loops from the arranger. Back to the gear at the top. The first option is to add new sound pools. This opens the browser and should take me to the last folder that I indicated had sound pools. The easiest is to select the master folder, sound pools, and Music Maker should find everything. If it doesn't, then navigate to the folder containing the sound pools that don't show up and click on OK. And hopefully the sound pools should show up. Now sometimes there are sound pools with loops that don't work. These aren't set up to work with this interface. They need beat information, that is the BPM file, embedded beat information in the loops, correct naming, including the 1, 2, 3 for the pitch. For example, I have one called Creeping Wave. It has loops with numbers, etc. But it's not divided up into instruments. This was a free sound pool from Katu. I could probably get this to work, but that's beyond the scope of this tutorial. Another one that I have is called Country. The instruments are there, but there are no numbers with the loops. So these are not the same as normal loops, and thus can't be used in this interface. The loops are actually parts of a song, sometimes with more than one instrument and pitch in the same loop. To access these types of loops or audio files, use the File Manager tab, find the folder, and drag the loops onto the arranger. I did find a way to get them into the interface, though, but that's a different topic. Some of you may have received sound pools on a CD or DVD. These need to be installed on your computer, and by default, they should end up under Common Sound Pools, as I showed you. If they go somewhere else, find them and copy them, or move them to the proper Sound Pools folder, and go through the Add New Sound Pools parameter to get them to show up in Music Maker. The sound pools have to be on your computer. You can't just keep them on a DVD and create a path to it, so don't even try. They won't work right. Now, where do we get more sound pools? Click on the Store tab and select one of the albums. Click on the I for information and you'll see details of the album. I check these out because sometimes I notice that I already have the loops as they came with another package a long time ago. Look at the information about licensing. If you buy these, you can use them without a license for non-commercial purposes. Pro licenses for sound pools can be found at www.cut2.com. At the bottom, it says License, Non-Commercial. We'll take a look at this later. Now I'm going to go and buy this one. Click on Purchase. Check that this is indeed what you want. If you happen to have a coupon, you can redeem it. Click on Select Payment Type and fill in the details. Now you need an account with Magix, and you should already have one since you registered Music Maker. Enter your username and password, enter payment details, and click on Continue. The selected item appears. Do a last check. Note the line near the bottom. You're agreeing to the terms and conditions. Open this and read it. We'll come back to it later. If you don't agree, cancel out. If you agree, click on Buy Now. Then sit back and watch as the purchase is downloaded and installed. Click Next. Note that the word purchased appears with the sound pool. And let's check that it showed up. There it is at the bottom, with new indicated in red. As soon as I click on it, the new disappears. Now where did the sound pool get installed to? In Windows Explorer, still under Common Sound Pools, we see a new subfolder called Shop, and under it, World Music. Great, everything's there. Next I'll make a backup of this. I don't want to lose them. A word of caution here, the file format of all sound pools purchased through the store are a proprietary format with the extension MXCOGG instead of the open format that we had before, OGG. These files can only be read with the newer updates of Music Maker 2017. Presently, other Magic software like Music Studio, Samplitude, and the video editors cannot read these file formats so you might want to think about buying them through Katu. Where else can you find sound pools, songs and sound effects from Magix? Go to katu.com and register. At the top there's a selection for free download and under it I'll select drum loops 100 BPM. This takes me to a preview screen where we see various types of licenses, the price and details. 
I want the free version, which has a private license. I'll put it in the shopping cart and select checkout. No need to enter credit card details since it's free. It now says go to your download area, so I will. Go to the MediaBot part of your account and you'll see everything that you've purchased from Katu, including the free one that I just selected. Beside it is a download button. Note that some of the others don't have a download possibility. This button is only there for a few weeks, so download right away. Clicking on download brings up the standard download selection box at the bottom of the screen asking where to send the file. Note the name drumloopsetc.zip. Click on save as and select where you want this to go. If you just select save, the file may go somewhere else in your hard drive, somewhere you don't know, and you're going to have to go looking for it. I have a place where I keep all of my zipped up music downloaded files and then copy from there. Once downloaded, go to that location and double click on the file to open WinZip. I'm assuming that you have it or another program that can unzip files. And then drag the folder to somewhere under Common Sound Pools. Remember that? Under Public Documents. This folder contains all of the loops. If the real ones, and these particular ones cannot be used alone, then you can go into Music Maker and select Add New Sound Pools, navigate to the new folder, and execute as we did before. If they are real sound pools in the correct format, they'll show up. Otherwise, you have to use the file manager to access them. Well, that's it for magic sound pools and music, putting them in the right place and getting them to show up in Music Maker. We're going on now to licensing. I'm not a lawyer, and I'm not going to give you legal advice. If you want or need legal advice on licensing and copyright issues, contact a lawyer who specializes in that field. First off, when you buy Music Maker and Sound Pools, you're not getting a copyright to anything. You're getting a license to use the program and its contents according to certain conditions, which you read, right? And you accepted these conditions when you purchased Music Maker and when you installed the program. See the checkbox? You can see this again by going to Help About Magic's Music Maker and clicking on License Terms and Conditions. You should read and understand this. Note the part about content. In principle, the contents, with the exceptions of live sets, may only be used for non-commercial purposes. This also applies to music, video, or photo data, as well as the corresponding templates acquired through or by means of Magic's products. Hmm. If you do a search on the magics.info forum for the word license, you'll find hundreds of posts, mostly asking the same question over and over. Here's the main message from one of the moderators, John Baker. Note that there is no general pro license for Music Maker. Basically, if you want to use the loops beyond private use, you must purchase a pro license for every sound pool which contains a loop that you use. Note that you can purchase a license to use the sound pools commercially. However, you do not own and cannot claim copyright on any material you produce using these sound pools. If you want to own copyright of your works, then you can't use the sound pools, even if you have the license to use them commercially. However, you can use the program to create them, providing that you compose, create, and play the entire work using built-in synthesizers. If I drag an instrument onto a track, a sample melody shows up. You must refrain from using the sample melodies for the melodic software synths. You must refrain from using the built-in synthesizer melodies, like Revolta. However, drum synthesizers are the exception to copyright licensing because they're too generic. Please be aware that you might get copyright infringement claims from others who have used the sound pools to create music legally or otherwise. This is inevitable, however incorrect. Copyright of the sound pools belongs to Magix and is never transferred with any form of license. On the Magix support site under Frequently Asked Questions, what can I do if my YouTube upload was affected by a copyright strike or content ID claim? Well, in that case, you'll need to dispute it directly with YouTube to resolve the issue. Magic says, unfortunately, we cannot assist with this process beyond providing the information below. If you're in compliance with the appropriate license agreements and your video has been removed or blocked from YouTube due to copyright infringement, please contact the YouTube Copyright Center. So there you have it. Remember when I bought World Affairs Music, I told you to click on Terms and Conditions. Here's what it looks like. 
Read it carefully. It's for non-commercial use. Remember under the store tab for this sound pool where it said pro licenses for sound pools can be found at katu.com? Let's go there. See the various types of licenses? Open one and read the conditions. Under help in Katu, there's a table showing all of the types of licenses. Here's the Audio Pro Unlimited license. Note in particular about use in edited form or in the context of another work. But everything's important. And as I said, if you don't understand all of this and you want to use the content commercially, you may want to consult a lawyer. Looking at my own purchases, we can see that I have some sound pools with Audio Pro Unlimited licenses. Opening the license gives the conditions, and at the bottom we see the licensee, that's me, and a media ID number. That's my proof of the Audio Pro Unlimited license for this sound pool. You can find much more about copyright issues by reviewing the information published by YouTube. Go to the bottom of almost any page and click on Copyright. Scroll down to see subjects like what is copyright, what is fair use, frequently asked questions. Now, where are you going to find the best definitions? In the Music Maker Manual, of course. Around page 242, you'll find the definitions for non-commercial use and commercial use. Create a song with Music Maker and upload it to SoundCloud or YouTube to share with friends or make a DVD to share with your friends, no problem. Unless money is involved. As soon as money is involved, it becomes commercial use. So take a close look at what constitutes commercial use and get the appropriate license. One of the things that's mentioned for a professional license is about using Magic's content in edited form or in the context of another work. So if you just string some loops together, you should at least add in some of your own content, like playing an instrument or singing. Here's an example. I strung together some loops from a sound pool for which I have the unlimited pro license. Let my wife listen to it once, give her the microphone, and told her to make up the melody in words. This gives me some original content to go along with the sound pools, and I should give credit to the makers of the loops and to my wife. She has the talent, I don't. Il y a de jours entier, Well, I hope this has helped you sort out where sound pools should be located and how to get them to show up in Magic's Music Maker, as well as where to see the various types of licenses and what they are. For more information, consult the manual and watch my other tutorials. Thank you for watching. Enjoy.